did humans evolve? Certainly, that's one of the most exciting insights that Darwin and others gave us, is that humans are not separate from this grand scheme of relatedness of all life on planet Earth. In all of our distinctiveness, it can be hard to understand that we are related to even the simplest forms of life. No candy at all. What would you say? For many people, it's even difficult to accept our close evolutionary relationship to other primates. Part of the problem in understanding our relationship to other living primates is to look at the difference between a relative and an ancestor. Look at your own relatives. Here's you and your biological mother and father. You are related to them and descended from them. Your mother's sister is your aunt and her child your first cousin. You are related to them, but you are not descended from them. When you look back at generations before you, you can see your ancestors. You and your cousin share two, very close in this case, common ancestors, your maternal grandmother and grandfather. If you keep looking back at your ancestors for about five million years, you will arrive at the common ancestor we share with today's apes. We didn't evolve from chimpanzees, but the common ancestor to both of these had a skeleton that was pretty similar to what we see in a chimpanzee. It got around on all fours. Uh, but through the years, with evolutionary changes, this skeleton, the skeleton of a four-legged creature, was modified for a different kind of locomotion, a different way of getting around. These differences may look great, but at the genetic level, the differences are minimal, as Dr. David Page's research demonstrates. In the last few decades, we've seen a completely new kind of evidence emerge that demonstrates unequivocally the close relationship between humans and chimps. And that evidence has come from DNA. This is DNA. We've got DNA, chimps have got DNA, bacteria have got DNA, petunias have got DNA, crabs have got DNA. Every living animal, plant, fish, frog has got DNA. And if we compare the DNAs of any two species, we can establish how closely related they are one to another. The sequence of the four chemical building blocks of DNA determines the traits of all living things. These are represented by A's, T's, C's, and G's. Each generation passes on this chemical text to its offspring. Occasional mistakes in copying, mutations, can result in new traits. Page takes part of a gene in humans and aligns it with the corresponding sequence of the same gene found in chimps to compare the letters. And what we see is that these two sequences, the human and chimp sequences, are spectacularly similar. They are, in fact, 98% identical. They're just a couple of spelling changes. Why are there only a couple of spelling changes? Because uh, we and chimps had a common ancestor only a few million years ago. If more time had passed since we had our last common ancestor, more spelling changes would have accumulated. To make that point, Page shows the same gene sequence of a mammal that is very different from humans, the rat. You see that there are far more differences, let's say, between the human and the rat than between the human and the chimp. That's because our common ancestor with the rat lived about 80 or 100 million years ago, and there's been much more time for spelling differences to accumulate. We've learned that in, in primates, DNA sequences are changing at a rate of about 1% every 3 million years. In other words, about 5 million years ago, the precursor of humans and chimps lived. And we can see that. We can, in a sense, read that right out of the DNA sequences. In the 19th century, in Darwin's time, it was audacious to claim that humans and chimps were closely related. There wasn't that much scientific evidence. But in the 20th century, we've seen the fossil record emerge. In the 21st century, 
The combination of fossil record, physical features, and molecular evidence leaves no doubt that humans and apes shared a common ancestor several million years ago. And humans and apes, like those early primates, have continued to evolve ever since.